What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Christmas is just around the corner now, so I thought this would be a great time to design something that's got a festive element to it. Now one thing that I haven't designed yet is an alcoholic beverage brand. So with that being said, today we're going to be creating a brand package for an alcohol business that makes plant-based cream liqueur called Lucid Cream. I think cream liqueur is one of them drinks that seems to get more consumed around Christmas time or the festive period. I personally quite like it. So without any further delay, let's get into a festive mood and let's get right into this video. So for the brand, I'm going to be creating a logo and a few variations of it, a colour palette, some custom illustrations and a packaging design, which is where the Christmas element is going to come in. I think I'm going to expand the brand in the future. So I'm going to create the branding like I usually do. And then I'm going to create a packaging design that's going to be for a limited edition Christmas drink. I've got a couple of ideas for the visuals based on the name. So one route I could go down is focusing on the word lucid and lucid dreaming to guide my color choices and typography. This would include things like gradients and colors that you'd associate with dreaming and space. And the other vague idea that I had was to go down more of a rustic path. So I like the idea of using like a hand drawn eye with imperfect type to give a timeless vibe with a focus on heritage. After having a browse for some fonts, I stumbled across this font family called Espiritu. I think I'm saying that right. And it's on Adobe fonts. It really suits the rustic vibe. And the great thing about it is that it's got a few different variations, including the script font. So this is great for pairing any of these variations together. Now that I've got my font sorted, I'm going to go ahead and have a play around with it and just see what kind of variations I can come up with. I'm keeping in mind the packaging. So I want the main type to wrap around um, an eye that I'm going to draw. So I've got a couple of good tips for you guys. So I just wanted to make the type thicker and because there is no weight variations for this specific font, I need to do that manually myself. So in order to do that, you can use the offset path. So you'll need to select your type, go to object, path and offset path, and then adjust the settings there. The second tip is a bit simpler and that is to get into the habit of duplicating your design after every significant adjustment. I always keep a copy of the live text version just in case I mess the outline version up. I also think this font is going to be a good fit because I wanted to keep the type quite simple as the eye that I'm going to draw is going to be a bit more detailed. So I don't want the entire thing to be too intricate or overwhelming. So I've just finished up drawing the eye in Procreate and I'm going to go ahead now and vector it. I want it to sit in between the two words in a shape that I think will transfer over to the bottle quite nicely. There's a few artifacts that I'm not keen on, so I'm just going to get rid of them and I'm going to smooth out some of these lines. So now that I've got my main packaging logo done, I'm going to go ahead now and make a few variations of it. I'm hoping to do around three or four different ones. So I'll speed this up now and I'll speak to you guys when I've just about finished. So if you're wondering why I am creating all these other variations of the logo, it's mainly for versatility. So obviously I've already got my main packaging logo, but it is quite a big logo and a lot of spaces aren't going to call for something um, either that big or that shape. So it's good to have your logo in different shapes or different variations. So now that I've got a few of these variations, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some colours for the brand. Even though the designs so far have inferred more from the second mood board, I actually want to use the colours that are within the first. So purples, pinks and a couple of neutral colours. I don't think gradients will suit the vibe, but these solid colours will go really well. And with that in mind, for the main lockup, I am going to use the purple with the dark blue background that I pulled from the first mood board. I'm also going to apply this to the rest of the logo variations, and this is going to really bring this brand to life. So after looking at it for a while, there was something about the eye that wasn't sitting quite right with me. The droopy bit in the middle protruded too far down. I asked my partner to have a look at it, and even though she said that she could tell it was an eye, 
to someone else it may resemble a uvula which is like the droopy bit between your tonsils or it could be misconstrued as a cow's udder now that would be a bit unfortunate so the main takeaway here is to get someone else to take a look at your work even if you are pretty confident with it anyway i've contracted the droopiness which i think looks better and you can definitely tell it is an eye now for an alternative colour order, I'm going to use the Recolor Artwork tool, which I featured in my top 5 Illustrator Tips video. If you want to find out about the other 4, then I'll place a link to it on the screen right now. If you want to wait to watch it until after, then it will also be in the description. So I'm going to keep the background the same colour, but I'm going to use the pink instead of the purple. So one thing that I noticed whilst I was figuring out the colour order and the alternative colours was that... The eye works great as a dark colour on a lighter background, but it doesn't work so well as a lighter colour on a darker background, so I just need to keep that in mind when it comes to the packaging. So I feel like I'm in a good place with the core branding right now. I plan to expand and add more elements and assets in the future, but for now I'm going to crack on with this Christmas packaging for their limited edition drink. So I've already loosely sketched this out in Procreate, so you're going to watch me finalise the design with this textured monoline brush. I want to create a simple Christmas themed pattern but I also need to leave some space under the logo to add some of the text. So I'll speed this up and I will speak to you when I've just about finished. So I'm just adding the final touches to the pattern now and it should be done. So the next step is to get this airdropped over to my Mac and into Illustrator so I can vector it and then I can really get on with creating this mock-up. So that space has now been filled with the flavour of the drink, which is peppermint, and then just a line underneath just stating that it is an oat cream liqueur. Very fancy. Now I'm just going to use that bottle shape that I made earlier to showcase the packaging a bit more. I actually saw this done on Instagram and just thought it looked really cool. But I am going to mock this up properly, so I'm going to have a look now to see if I can find a mock-up that I like. Okay, so I did find one that's really nice, but I did have to purchase it as all the free ones that I found weren't quite doing it. And in a way, I do prefer purchasing mock-ups for a few reasons. So one being that you can use it forever. Secondly, they're usually better quality and therefore they allow the design to express itself better. And lastly, it's always nice to support other creators, but you can definitely get great free mock-ups. And the last thing that I need to do for this mock-up is to add the neck label. So for this, I'm going to combine the L and the C. It's quite simple, but it just works. Also, don't be afraid to edit the mock-ups themselves. I felt that the highlights of this bottle were a bit too jarring for the background. So I've added a clipping mask to the highlights layer. I'm going to go around with a soft brush to paint away some of that intensity, especially on the edges. So I wasn't happy with the script font for the flavour text, so I've changed it to the condensed variation. And I definitely think that this helps with the overall hierarchy and legibility of the design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment below to let me know what you think of the design and where I should take it next. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing Christmas and I will see you in the next one.